What was she searching for in that online jungle? Something about the cinematic, the film look, the how-tos flooding like the Mekong in monsoon season. How to get that disposable look. What did it all mean? Yeah, the film look. I've got some beef with you film look people. Welcome to my home. I'm not sure exactly how you got in here, but uh, since you're here, I want to talk to you about the film look, the cinematic look, or what I ran into the other day on YouTube, the disposable look. You know, I was okay with the whole cinematic thing and the film thing. Yeah, you want to try and replicate those with your camera, but the disposable camera thing, that's where I draw the line. No more. This must be talked about. So buckle up, because here comes the rant. What does it even mean, the film look? What exactly is it that they're trying to replicate? I think I have some idea. If you've watched any movies, any recently made movies, or seen, you know, the typical digital photo, and you're like, wow, this is a really strange world that that I'm seeing. There's, uh, you know, I can see in the dark. The shadows, they don't exist. Or if they're there, then, you know, heaven forbid you're the bad guy in the movie because you would have no hope of ever being able to disguise yourself in the shadows. Or a good guy, for that matter, trying to get away from the bad guys. Everybody can see perfectly in the dark. It's as if everything is being filmed at midday. I suspect that I know what happened there. We have cameras these days that are capable of such incredible dynamic range that people feel obligated to show that they're using an amazing camera by making sure that you can see every single detail everywhere in the shot. Shadows, not shadows, whatever it is to show how amazing it actually is. We have have professional equipment here. This is what it produces. Look at that. That's an amazing, beautiful shot that's absolutely flat and two-dimensional. And then they go and watch something like Blade Runner, and they're like, what is this that I'm seeing? This... This, uh, this look, this, uh, there are shadows, there's dark places, it's, it's dirty, people have grime on them, things have grime on them, what, what could have produced this result? I know, it must be because back in the 80s they only had film, this is because it was filmed on 35mm film or whatever, that's gotta be the, sl- I don't actually know if it was 35mm film, I suspect, because it's, you know, cinema, movie, Thing. Anyway, they look at that and they're blown away and they think, I've got to achieve this film look. But how can I do it when I'm not using film? Now, the first thing that I would suggest if you want to achieve the film look is, you know, use film. If you're doing photography, it's much easier than the, the whole movie thing, much cheaper. They used to have these things called SLRs. And, you know, you go to the store and you buy a roll of film, 35 millimeter film, and you put it inside the camera and then you can go out and take photos on the film and you will magically achieve the film look. But you say, I, I don't want to do that. And what about my movies? How do I get that cinematic look like Blade Runner? How do I get that film look? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I've actually got it built into the camera. I can make it look film-like by the click of a button. It's, it's very simple. There's uh, the different options, I guess. But why, you know, what is it? Is it because it's on film? Is it because, it, what is the film? It, I, it's, I'll be honest with you. I think that it's just that there are shadows. There are actually dark places. You know, maybe they played with the lights. Think about that. Maybe using, you know, some lights when you're making your video or your photo to, uh, to cast shadows, to create definition and that sort of thing. That might go a long way into uh, creating the film look better than some of the advice that I've seen online. You wouldn't believe what the people were saying about this disposable. What is the disposable? For those of you who don't know, there used to be these things called disposable cameras. I mentioned the SLRs. Well, let's say you didn't have one of those 
and you wanted to go on vacation, but maybe you didn't want to pack the camera. Maybe you didn't, you know, you didn't want it to get stolen or something like that. You could buy these disposable cameras at Walmart and different places. It was made of plastic and paper, and it had the film already in there. So you take your photos on your vacation, you know, and then you, uh, oh wait, I should use the, you take your photos, of course, the, uh, the digital, this is not disposable, or maybe it is. Anyway, you take your photos and then you just drop it off at this place called the One Hour Photo or the photo department or whatever at Walmart. I think they still have it, kind of. And an hour later, they have your photos your, from your disposable camera. But guess what? They look green and hideous <laughs> because the camera you were taking the photos with is made of paper and plastic. And not good plastic. We're talking about, like, milk carton plastic or something like that. And uh, someone actually wants to replicate that look? I'm telling you, you don't need to. The other uh, suggestion, I guess, that people made for getting these uh, the film look was to simply go and get an old digital camera that has a very low megapixel count, and you'll magically get these uh, film looks. You don't need to do that. You really don't need to go. I mean, if you want to go and buy some junk camera somewhere so you can get this look, be my guest. But just keep in mind the images, the resolution is going to be so terrible. You know, maybe it would be okay if you're like getting the little 4x3 or 5x whatever photo. But even that, it's questionable how, how good the resolution, how good the image is going to look on that card. Just use the camera you have. I mean, it's it's literally about light. I mean, take a look online. Go ahead and look at all these images that are out there that people are taking in, uh, you know, like street photography. Get on, get on Instagram and search for, like, hashtag street photography or something, and you'll see these amazing film-like, cinematic-like photos. Trust me, they're not using some old digital camera, at least for the most part. Or, uh, you know, whatever. They, they're using the same camera that I like what I've got. And um, all they're doing is playing with the colors. They have, you know, if you're on Instagram, filters that you can put on there to make it have that uh, film-like look. But if you really want to get it right out of the camera, you can do that. Just switch the, the settings, you know. And you can have right out of the camera. Of course, you can't do RAW that way. You've got to have it switched to, like, JPEG. You can have JPEG and RAW, I suppose. And then you can have one that's in the film look and one that's raw, just in case you want to mess with it yourself. But <laughs> it's not this magical thing. And if you're really obsessed, like you just, you've got to get the film look, then just go get an SLR and start taking photos with real film. And you will get the film look. Uh, you get the negatives. You invest in a little thing to kind of scan the negatives into a digital. I, I wonder if there's probably a service out there that'll do that for you. And wow, you've got the film look. I, I cannot begin to tell you how ridiculous it is seeing all these things on the internet talking about the film look. Ah, I just had to get that off my chest. If you really want the film look, go get a film camera. Now, yeah, or, you know, maybe we can we can play with it. Let's see, how am I? I'm a filmy now. I've got the film look. I'm cinematic. You see. Kind of. Maybe not. I'm not an expert at this stuff, but honestly... It's just lighting. It has nothing to do with, you know, the camera or the, the, the le well, okay, the lens can have an impact on your image if you want uh, really clear and nice looking images. They, they do add their character, but for heaven's sake, you don't have to get an old digital camera. Use, uh, well, I mean, if, if you want, you can. But, wow. What is this stuff? I tell you, the film look. What is the obsession? I think it's that obsession that drove Hollywood into making these flat images. Somebody was telling them that the, the film, when they were doing film stuff, it had a flatter image or something like that. I don't know, not as crisp. So now they've been pushed into getting these incredible dynamic ranges to where it doesn't look real anymore. Like I said, those bad guys, you know, they're going to be out of the job in the movies because they can't hide in the shadows anymore. But yeah, you'll have to tell me what you think. Am I right? Is this whole hype about the film look thing just a bunch of ridiculousness? Especially since you can just use Instagram to put the filter on there if you really want. You know, take whatever photos and you can make it have the film look. <laughs> just dirty it up. Add some uh, some noise here and there. I don't know. But uh, you, can, you can achieve that film look without going to ridiculous lengths. And uh, yeah, 
Def don't don't go for the disposable look. I mean, geez, those those cameras, they're so bad. My friend in school managed to take one of them and turn it into a taser. Yeah, the the flash thing. He like just peeled the paper off and exposed the thing, and he he didn't zap anybody else. He accidentally zapped himself. I guess that's how he discovered it. But you don't need to replicate that. Just take photos and put a filter on it or something. I don't know. Learn about lighting, that sort of thing. Don't take advice from me because I'm, you know, not an expert. But at least I know not to do the disposable look. Eh, gee, anyway, huh? Give me, get out of my house. I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs>